Welcome to Neurodiversipedia, where we explain all those big, complicated words pertaining to neurodiversity in ways that everybody can understand. What the heck is cognitive flexibility? Is it like when my brain bends in a certain way? Well, yeah, sort of. Cognitive flexibility means the speed at which you can change the way you're thinking about what's going on around you. So in a really simple example, if a child might be playing an athletic game where they're exercising, they're moving, and then they need to switch out of that into academic time, how quickly can their brain adjust? For adults, you might see this in a work setting. It's, hey, I'm going meeting to meeting, and then I need to do deep thinking work at my desk where I have no interruptions, no social interaction. How high are those switching costs for you as an adult? Now, translate that down to kids. Kids also have switching costs when they're moving from one activity to another. We want them to develop higher cognitive flexibility so that they feel better when we're transitioning from playtime to school time to resting time. The best way to help someone improve their cognitive flexibility is to do mindfulness exercises. What would it look like if we shut our eyes and took a few deep breaths in between things. So I know that I just played and I exercised really hard outside with my friends during recess. Now I have to reset. What can I do to reset my physiology? I can close my eyes, take a deep breath, do that a few more times, tell myself I'm now ready for school, and then I will start my school day again. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.